On Saturday morning last week, Dreamworld announced to passholder emails and their website that buzzsaw the 10-year-old Maritone Skyloop will be retiring from the park on the 31st of August 2021. Now to me, this became as an absolute shock as much as I knew about its plague maintenance and low ridership, its announced closure became way earlier than anyone anticipated. But the main question most people have, especially outside of Australia is, why? Why did the latest and currently the tallest, fastest ride in the park is set to retire with only 10 years under its belt? I mean, on the surface, it doesn't seem to be the most maintenance heavy, right? Well, that's what I want to discuss in this video. Now, I obviously don't know the exact reason for this closure, however, there's a few major factors that could easily have led to this decision, which I wanted to explain. Before we get into those though, the official statement from the park on why it's closing is quite shallow, basically stating that it's due to the proximity to still type in a new future development. And while these are viable reasons, I believe it goes much deeper than that. But I'll get back to the future development plan bit when I talk about the big change in management. So, let's start off with the fact that Buzzsaw was a complete disaster from start to finish, and I'm not even just talking about the ride experience here. Its ridership problems supposedly started as early as 2012, as reports of not even 15 minute waits have been stated not even 6 months after opening. Leading up to this year, the coaster supposedly was operating only 40% of the year in some years, but evidently none of that was final. Uh, and I believe it was 2019 or 2020, obviously after opening of course, the coaster was pretty much down for the whole year with no visual difference once it reopened. The coaster is also coming up to its 10 years of operation, and I believe that rides past 10 years need m to maintain more inspections and inspection checks etc, obviously meaning sucking more money into a coaster that barely runs at all. And that's not even taking into account its roughness it's developed over the years, to a point where people say it's almost unbearable. Even if I myself disagrees on this point, let's just say it doesn't have the best reputation among returning guests. However, the biggest reason for this closure easily stems from the new direction of the park. For all who do not know, Dreamwood have been undergoing a major switch in management and direction, completely turning the park's focus. In fact, many people involved actually came from Village Roadshow, which are known for picking more quality rides over quantity rides, and Dreamwood usually being the opposite until now, in which the park seems to be not scared to pull the trigger on some big rides over the past 24 months, that being Tower of Terror 2, Log Ride, Wipeout, and now Buzzsaw. Whether I like these rides or not, they're definitely just not included and wanted in the park's big future plans, being more fleshed out thrill rides and family rides, and not just one trick ponies. Rides like Still Type In is what I believe to be the start of the future for Dreamworld. And while I don't think anything will replace Buzzsaw's exact land due to the fact it was the main reason mentioned for the removal, there's plenty of potential land around the park for new major expansions in the near future, possibly even closer than you might think. But hey, what do you think about this closure? Were you able to ride it? What did you think of it? As both Tower and Buzzsaw were very divisive in opinions, it would be very interesting to hear your thoughts. As for mine, I actually liked Buzzsaw in terms of layout, duration, downtime. Yeah, it sucked, but because of its hang time, uh, still being probably the, some of the best hang time I've ever experienced to this day and its intensity of passing the station was always a good added bonus as well But anyway, that's it for this video and I'll see you all later. Peace